Hey guys, welcome to x2design.com. In this video, we are going to discuss about precision and the accuracy. Okay, so the basic purpose of measurement is to determine the true dimension of a part. But determining the true dimension of a part is really hard. Actually, it is not possible because there might be do so many types of errors that we cannot avoid during measurements. So we have to achieve an accurate and very close values towards the true value or true dimension right so this amount of closeness will determine the accuracy of the measurement measuring instrument okay but sometimes we used to say uh, precise and accurate measuring instruments so what what that word precise determines the char characteristic of that instrument so let's discuss it what does precise means and why it is different from accuracy okay so let me take a shaft uh, and if I, uh, uh, I i'm gonna measure this shaft for a couple of times and i will take that values on the graph okay so this is the graph let's say this this is uh, on x i'll take uh, frequently frequent measuring measurements on why I will write dimensions okay so these are the number of measurements I am going to take these are the number of measurement uh, dimensions I have got in each uh, measurement okay so I am gonna measure the same component with the same instrument for a couple of times so that is what I am going to do. So if the true value is somewhere like this. And now if I start taking the measurement for the first one. If I got let's say it is 10, 20, 30, 40. Okay. 50. So okay. Now for the first time if I have got uh, a first measurement. If I have got 28 the value will be somewhere like this okay and if I got the second measurement as 25 and the third one is like uh, 20 the so you see the same as measuring instrument uh, but I'm taking too much difference of value it won't be like that it will it will be very close but uh, for the sake of uh, understanding I'm taking like this okay so the third value uh, third value done fourth value somewhere like this and the fifth value somewhere like this and sixth somewhere like this if you take average for these measurements you will get uh, an average line somewhere between here okay the average line will be this is what the actual measurement let's say so the difference between the true value and the actual measurement is called as error okay let's define precision okay in this case all the measurements that we have got here are very close to each other in precision what will happen all the measurements will be close to each other okay they will be very close to the average value but the average value and the true value will have more difference that is what more error okay so the difference between average value and true value will be more okay in the case of precision but in the case of accuracy we will discuss it now okay so let me rub this one in the case of accuracy it will be little different okay so let's i have taken uh, taken a new graph uh, let's take the measurements again then the 
measurements will be like this okay the first measurement will be somewhere at 50 and the second measurement will be somewhere at uh, uh, 20 let's say Mm, uh, you see so I'm taking more difference in the measurements but it won't be like that I'm just uh, uh, making sure you can understand if I take more difference okay it won't be like that anyway and the third one is uh, let's say it is around uh, 38 or somewhere mm. and the fourth one is somewhere between 15 yeah <laughs> fifth, fifth measurement is somewhere like 32 or something and the sixth measurement is um, I'll take it again 15 okay now if I take average value for this one I will get the average line will be somewhere like this okay this is what average value in case of accuracy you can see that the difference between the average line and the true line is very less here okay less but in the case of precision it was more but what is the difference between here and there why it got uh, uh, why they are different okay you can see that all the values are not close to each other as we said in precision each measurement will be close to each other but in here we have got a lot of difference you can see that the distance between each point to the average value is more okay for few of them it is less but most of them it is very high right so this is what accuracy but not precise we can say accuracy but not precise okay this is what accuracy but not precise but the average value will be very close to the true value now we will we are going to discuss about the combined scenario which is accurate and precise okay so let me erase this one i'll erase okay i'll erase these things true value again and now if i got if i take the measurements again uh, but in this case we are uh, taking both precise and accurate accurate so the instrument is both precise and accurate so then how we will get the values the values will be something like this okay uh, first one is like 28 or something somewhere and the second one is like 20 35 or something and the third one is like 25 or something fourth one is 38 fifth one will be like 20 let's say and the sixth one is 30 let's say and if you take the average value it will be something like this this is what average value here we can say that the instrument is both precise and accuracy accurate okay you can see that the difference between the each measurement to the average line is very less you can see that right and also the error which is the difference between the average line and the true line is very less so this is the way how we can determine the accuracy and the precision of the measuring instrument so this is all about precision and accuracy of a measuring instrument if you have any doubts you can comment them below thank you for watching please subscribe to our channel if you like this video and you can uh, you can press that bell icon so that you will get updates when we post a new video thanks